In early October, Suwon hosted its annual Suwon Hwasong Cultural Festival, and I got to pretend to be a scholar for the day. During the Joseon Dynasty and earlier Goryeo Kingdom, national civil service exams, or Gwago, were held every few years to help select candidates for the civil positions. While open to people of all classes, typically only people who came from money could afford to study for the exams from a younger age. Participating in this program was a lot of fun, and luckily we didn't have to answer too hard of a question. They asked us to write down three ways that we can make our parents happy. The program also had several actors portraying other scholars, locals, officials, and even the king, and they made the event very entertaining with their different antics, and there was even a musical performance as well. This year, the Suhan Hwasan Cultural Festival celebrated its 60th year anniversary. Each year, they also host a reenact. Each year, they also host reenactment of the trip from Chandokun in Seoul all the way down to Suwon, and finally in Yongun in Hwasong City. King Jongjo would make this trip regularly to visit his father's tomb, and the total distance was over 60 kilometers. While the festival is over now, currently they're still doing an outdoor media art display at night at Changyong Moon Gate, starting at 7 and ending at 10 p.m. You can also walk around Hwasan Fortress, and this will typically take about two hours. Or you can walk around Hwasan Hengun, the temporary palace that the king would stay during his visits. There are plenty of other things that you can do in Suwon, and you can always ask in the comments if you want some more information, or you can check out our other videos about Suwon or other parts of Korea. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see all of you on the next adventure. Bye bye.